Hello, welcome back to Cursed Phrase. To my old viewers and new viewers, I'm new to voiceover, so I'm sorry if you find my voice difficult to understand. Make sure to check the end of the video. In this video, I will show you how you can access Phoenix OS when you can't get in directly through the boot menu. As a side note, I am using Wondershare Filmora to edit this video. Even if you are interested in video editing, check the description to know more about Filmora. I will show you the error and multiple fixes through which you can get in Phoenix OS. There you can see, usually as we install Phoenix OS or any dual operating system, you get a grub menu to select the OS which you want to use. But in this case, we don't have any grub menu. So let me show the fixes which will help you get in Phoenix OS. Get into the boot menu by pressing the respective key. For me, it's F12 and select Phoenix OS. This is the first method or fix to get in Phoenix OS. In case this doesn't work, I will show two more methods. Let me show the second method. Get in Windows and download this program. The link will be in the description. Using this program, we will disable Windows Boot Manager, which will leave the Phoenix OS boot menu only to load on startup. In case, if you are looking for a VPN to hide your IP and location on the internet, you should definitely check NordVPN, link in the description. And there you can see, the grub menu is now visible to get in Phoenix OS. For the last method, the following method is specifically done on a Dell laptop, so the settings might be different for your system. You may need to check with your desktop or laptop model for similar settings. Get into the boot menu and select BIOS setup. In BIOS setup, you will need to disable Windows Boot Manager and keep Phoenix OS selected. That's it. You will see the Phoenix OS grub menu. These are the three methods you can use to get in Phoenix OS. If one doesn't work, another will work. Once you have achieved getting in Phoenix OS and you want to uninstall it, make sure to reverse this method to use Windows Boot Manager. As I mentioned, to check the end of the video, because in my old videos I was using text to speech tool for voiceover, but recently I got to know that YouTube policies don't appreciate text to speech voiceovers. 
so i had to make the effort for voice over no matter what so once again sorry if you find it difficult to understand my voice i will try my best to keep it clean and simple with time i will improve it thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful if you have any doubts or questions you can comment them below make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel also follow me on my social media